Welcome back to another episode. My name is Darren Cabral. I'm the CEO here at Suit Social. We're a digital marketing agency that helps you build your brand, generate leads, and make more sales online. On today's video, we're talking about how to warm up your online audience, your social media audience, and basically warm up people that are following you or paying attention to you and eventually convert them into sales. So when we say warm up, what we mean is basically get somebody to a point where they're familiar enough with your brand, they trust your company, they know what you do, to get them ready to say, yeah, I, I, I want that, I wanna buy that, I wanna sign up for that, I wanna opt in for that. You wanna get them to that point because nobody starts there, right? They see a post, maybe a friend shared something, maybe they saw an ad, but they don't just start with, yeah, I'm ready, like take my money. There's always a process of, and we've all done this, like when you're shopping online, you find a new company, it's a process. They're researching, they're checking your socials, they're checking your reviews, they're, they're checking whatever they can find online, they're going through your website, and they might do that a few times and it might take them a few weeks before they actually decide to say, yeah, I'm gonna buy something from this company. And so how you kind of orchestrate that process is what we call warming up. And so that's not just a random thing people go through. You can control a lot of that. So you can control what these prospects and what your audience sees, how often they see it, and what specifically they get to go through um, to try to shorten that process of warming up and shorten that process of, hey, they become aware of you all the way to they're actually gonna buy something. And the two ways involve one, paid advertising, and the second way is what we call organic, which is really just social media. It's creating and posting content, but it's the specific content designed to warm up our audience and continue to bring people through to actually making a purchase. So first method is paid advertising. So when I say paid advertising, we're talking Facebook ads, we're talking Google ads. We can actually use those, not just to get in front of customers, but warm them up. And so if you've been watching our channel for a bit, um, you've heard about acquisition branding. If you haven't, I suggest you go back and watch my video where I explain acquisition branding. Um, but basically it's an advertising strategy where we don't just run an ad that says, here's our company, come through and buy something and then wait till they're ready. We basically build a funnel where we show people ads at the very top of this funnel first that are awareness focused. It's like, hey, here's who we are, here's what we do, here's all the great stuff about our company. And then we retarget them with offers and then we retarget them with what we call social proof, you know, testimonials, reviews, case studies, things that help them make a decision so that they're not just seeing one ad, and we're not just gonna show them one ad and hope they come through and do their own research and warm themselves up. We're gonna continue to show them multiple ads at different stages to help convince them as quickly as possible that we're worth doing business with and they should kind of hand over their money, right? That's the paid side. On the organic side of things, when we plan social media content for ourselves or for clients, like what we're gonna post, we always kind of keep in mind, like what are the things we're putting out there to kind of warm our clients up? And what that usually looks like is social proof. Are we posting and sharing our reviews? Are we posting and sharing our case studies, our client wins? Our pieces of authority, you know, was I, was I featured in Forbes magazine? Did I win the local business award last year? Whatever. Are we showcasing the stuff that will help our clients basically uh, earn our trust so they can look at us and say, yeah, that's a company I want to do business with. Another kind of content we post organically to help with that is like authority type content, education, things that show them, hey, we are subject matter experts. Look at you know how much we know and how good we are at what we do. Um, and so let's say you're, you're a cleaning company. That can also be before and afters. That can be tips and tricks of you know how you get the perfect clear finish on a window when you're done. Show them that you're an expert. Show them the work that you do um, and prove that you're worth kind of buying from. So in combination, having that paid ad strategy that's gonna warm up your clients in association with that organic strategy of your clients, you do that on an ongoing basis. What's gonna happen is basically you're gonna build a really large pool of people who don't just know you, but who trust you, who have seen the content, who have seen the case studies, who have seen the reviews. Those are much easier people to start conversations with and ultimately sell things to. And so you wanna make sure at all times you're using social media and paid ads at their fullest to not just attract clients, but continue to warm them and bring them down that funnel. So if you found that helpful, be sure to drop a like down below. If you have any questions, wanna add anything to that, of course, drop a comment as always. Or if you know another business owner or manager that would find any of the, that, those tips useful, be sure to share this video with them. Grab the link below, share it to them, get them to watch it. Um, we wanna get this in front of as many people as possible. And of course, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications. We drop new videos every single Friday. I'll see you in the next episode.